The Death of Art. I don't like the title. Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep, is all. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Did Sarah has grey hair as well as Tommy? Okay, what you do? Was that really old? Got that right, champ. Or is this my idea? Oh yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. <laughs> sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Ellie, you don't even know why yet. But it must be it. Ah, okay, now he's not so good. I figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's alright, don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. I got off Tommy Angelo. I can explain. Driver's numbers. Wow. Taxi lines before he became a taxi driver. Tommy worked as a road crew. She lived in camps for months at a time, building highways through the northern United States. Tommy eventually retired of her intended life and moved back to Lost Heaven in 1926, using the money he had saved to buy himself a car. Uh huh. But he's already been expired. <laughs> Three of a kind. <laughs> oh no. Ah, okay. Bang raid, suspect of lad. Bystander photographs shows officers around the ground behind the other Shemin police department are appealing for information relating to a violent robbery that took place yesterday in downtown Lost Heaven. The thieves who left many dead are said to have taken enormous hold. They remain identified on the loose. Witnesses are required to contact LHPD in person or by telephone on, on L LH. 2762 Uh-huh I just want to explore the house a little I come here What is this? Coming to America, Tommy and his family arrived in Empire Bay after a month at sea on Christmas Day in 94, after an inspection by immigration officials, they traveled on to Lost Heaven in a crowd train carriage. Tommy's father found employment at Lost Heaven and Hubble where he walked into his death 15 years later. Wow. In 1934. That's a cigar. Always a cigar there. <sighs> it's nice, cozy little house. Who are they? Sicily, 94, four-year-old Tommy with his family at the Villari, Lemon Grove near the port of Messina. Tommy's father was the supervisor at the plantation. He was foreclosed by a money lender, evicted from their home, a destitute 
the Angels emigrate to America soon afterwards. Yeah, and the two girl there. Your boyfriend Polly is gonna get worried if you don't ship out soon. I can't get up, okay. Give work American produce. Well, I guess that's it. Ooh, it's a little drive, but uh, let's see. So it's a moody day, kind of raining all. Yeah, I drive like an imbecile. Got a problem with that. Man, they don't know to drive. Okay, that was close. So since he's speaking with a cup, that means things didn't go well. I got a bad feeling about all this. Polly betrayed Tommy, something else. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. There's Polly's house already here. I just need to park her off. Somewhere here. Yep. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Okay. Hey, hey, you were ruckus last night. Uh, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell again. Polly? Door is open. Ali. Oh man! Jesus. Seriously, it's gonna be Sam. He's the only one who knows. Just shot him in the head. And took all the money. Oh, seriously? It's a trap. Don't pick up the phone. Oh, yeah. 
Sam. It's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him, slumped over in the hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh, God. I was... I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And, uh... Thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. <sighs> I smell a trap. Holly. I gotta go. I'm sorry. This must be Sam's doing. I mean, let's face the facts, how Salieri learn about all this? Only Sam, Tommy and Polly know about this. How Salieri figure that out? Sam spoke, Sam killed Polly and now she's prepared to kill us. We're walking in an ambush, definitely. It's an ambush. Okay, it's close. I'm not going to skip driving. Whoops. Not now. Not now. I have a feeling that this is all Sam's doing. Don't move, Tom. Shit. Hey, Tom. See ya. What the hell's going on? You and Polly put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. Well, thanks a lot, asshole. Thanks a lot for saving them like that. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore up about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore. The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. Wow. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri. 
What a nice hole. Wow. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal. But you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. Wow. What a betrayal. Okay. Payback time. No room for punks like you in this. Over here. Books are open for the guy that takes him down. Damn it. Well, at least didn't betray anyone. You backstabbing son of a. Is that Vinny? <sighs> she got me very good. Maybe. That was a risky move. Well, she's dead now. Gotcha now. <laughs> wow, I missed completely. Any good weapons here? No. Damn it. Ah, thank God. Shit! 
Oh, health items. Uh, Tommy gone. I don't think so. Surprise! Sorry about that. Nothing. Kind of scared right now. surrounded we're gonna cut Tommy gun Oh yeah. She got away again? Seriously?
God damn it, I missed. But not this time. Getting scared. Die already. <coughs> Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. <laughs> you kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. What <laughs> a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. Wow. So Salieri. He sent out a crew. And his family. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the family. <coughs> you can't do it, can you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that Tell me, do it. And you can't make up your do mind. Do it. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> Kill him. We sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. <laughs> Grab the money and leave. And you shouldn't throw the weapon. You shouldn't keep it. Grab the money and leave. I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but. I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box and stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. <laughs> and I'm sorry I wasted your time and mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife, four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah.
So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years, and I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gonna eat, right? Even dirty caps. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. <laughs> Trying to make me think you got nothing on him. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. <laughs> Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. Uh huh. Aha, uh -huh, he's very old now. Many Long years later. In another life. Someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel. <laughs> the cop. His greatest weakness. <coughs> Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done. Oh man, Rafi. I feel sorry for him. I've done for my family. Ah, okay, now they're getting old. People they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone. Wow. <laughs> So I could come home. A better husband. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness. But it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. I don't like this. Yes, Mr. Salieri sends his regards. She's still alive? Seriously? That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. So Tommy had another two children. Two money, boys or another jobs. boy. Even best pals will come and go. But family. Family is for But seriously, Salier is still alive. Is he supposed to be already old enough before all these events? Wow. So in the end he dies. Well, that's the end of it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next videos. I don't know if I do a free ride with this game, but if I do, I'll let you guys know.
and I'm dead. Great.